Hello friends, AI. Today from school kids to software CEOs, this new magic has captured the whole world. Just open an app and like Aladdin's magical lamp, whatever we have seen, heard or read, AI gives answers in the blink of an eye. Want a song? It writes a song. Want code? It writes code. Ask anything. It behaves like your close personal assistant and gets things done instantly. But how did AI become so powerful? From Aristotle's philosophy to Einstein's theory of relativity, who filled AI with all this knowledge? How did it learn everything? And what exactly is AI? What's really behind these chatbots? Come, in today's video, let's understand the roots of this revolutionary technology that is transforming our entire world. Human-like. Friends, AI, as you all know, stands for artificial intelligence, meaning technology that gives a computer the ability to think, learn, and make decisions like a human. Now, why is a human called an intelligent creature? Because unlike animals, we don't only eat, sleep, and run and reproduce. We can learn new things, we ask questions and we search for solutions when problems arise. Similarly, even though AI isn't human, it tries to mimic the human mind. And AI is not just chat GPT, not just chat bots that answer your questions. The AI you use is everywhere, YouTube, Google, Maps, Netflix, Instagram. Which video you like, which road has traffic? What post should appear on your feed? AI decides everything behind the scenes. The word artificial intelligence was born in 1956 when someone asked, can machines think like humans? John McCarthy, an American computer scientist, introduced this term. But the computers of that time were nowhere near as powerful as today and extremely expensive back then. So for next two to three decades, this AI concept remained only as a theory on paper. But in the 1990s, as Intel, IBM and others built powerful chips, AI slowly began to develop. We started seeing small AIs, speech recognition, image classification, basic pattern recognition. Then in 1997, IBM's Deep Blue computer defeated world chess champion Gary Kasparov. That news went viral globally. A computer defeated a human. But even then people didn't call it AI. They just said computer defeated a person. But in 2022, when OpenAI launched ChatGPT, AI's perception itself changed. From small kids to senior citizens, everyone got introduced to AI. But remember this, friends. Even with all the noise, ChatGPT is still considered the weakest form of AI. How? We will understand soon. Three types of AI. Generally, AI is divided into three categories based on capability. First, narrow AI. This AI is trained for a specific task. Outside the task, it cannot do much. So it is also called the weak AI. Next, second, AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, AI with human level intelligence. When given a new task, AGI recalls previous learnings, thinks on its own and applies to the new situation without humans needing to retrain it. So this is also called strong AI. Next comes the third one is ASI, Artificial Super Intelligence. This is the peak form of AI, AI that surpasses human intelligence. ASI can think in ways human haven't imagined and do things beyond our capability. That is why it is called godlike AI or super AI. But friends, AGI and ASI exist only in theory today. ASI is purely science fiction for now. AGI is being attempted but still not successful. But remember, OpenAI was founded with the goal of building AGI someday. The US is exploring AGI under a project called Stargate. OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, IBM, all are trying. Till this moment, no one has created AGI and definitely not ASI. So the only AI that works today perfectly is narrow or weak AI. 
chat gpt google gemini with its colorful sari ads all these are narrow ai specifically a category called generative ai gen ai to understand how chat gpt works gemini works we must first understand generative ai concept what is generative ai friends generative ai is a type of weak ai if you feed it data it observes patterns and behavior inside the data and then generates new content in a similar fashion for example if you feed it 10000 song lyrics it learns sentence structure word choice rhyming style and then generates brand new lyrics today we have ai that generates audio and video too you have seen countless gen ai videos going viral on instagram and x even full fledged ai movies are coming but the one that shook the world first The spark that ignited AI globally was the text-based generative AI like GPT-3. GPT-3 was the first model behind ChatGPT. It could write lyrics, write emails, and essentially produce anything a human could express in text in almost any language. Because of this, many people considered ChatGPT the most powerful AI. But how was ChatGPT born? How is it trained? How did it learn about everything? To understand this, we must know about a special AI model. The guru behind ChatGPT, LLM. Friends, until the 2010s, AI was still in its early development stage. We only had small AI systems, factory robots fixing bolts, vacuum robots cleaning floors, very basic task specific AI. But during the 2010s, a major revolution happened. Computer scientists inspired by the human brain design neural networks. They realize that if you feed a huge amount of data to machines, they can learn patterns in human language. And from that, ChatGPT was born. It began around 2018 and launched publicly in 2022. After 4 years of work in the background, LLMs, large language models form the base of this training thanks to llms ai learned human language not just as words but as structure tone style and context that is why chat gpt feels so powerful in text and image generation formats so what exactly is a llm large language model friends it's an ai trained on massive text data sets how does it work You have seen auto complete right when you type your phone guesses the next word for example if you type virat kohli google shows virat kohli images virat kohli age virat kohli photos virat kohli batting etc how does google guess this because google observes how many times users search each phrase if images 100 times age 80 times photos 50 times Google gives those words a probability score and displays them. This is exactly how LLM works, but on an extremely massive scale. It doesn't stop at next word. It predicts the next sentence, next paragraph, even next entire document. Because LLMs are fed huge amounts of text, internet data, books, newspapers, everything. To give you a sense, If a person reads all the text used to train GPT-3 non-stop 24/7, it would take around 2600 years to complete. That is how massive this dataset is. LLM stores probability relationships like which words appear together, how often, in what order, what structure, what tone. Not only words it learns grammar structure sentence style tone writing form and once trained when you prompt it it predicts the next best word again and again to build sentence and pages this is why it seems intelligent but here one more concept helps reinforcement learning during training every time it predicts wrongly it gets negative points so next time that wrong prediction becomes less likely correct predictions get positive points this helps at massive scale millions and billions of calculations per second to give you some idea about the scale in which these operations happen 
If your human tried to calculate as fast as needed for LLM training, doing 1 billion additions, multiplications a second, it would take around 10 crore years or 100 million years to reach the same compute. That's how much calculation is involved. This is why we need huge GPU chips. GPT-3 used around 10,000 GPU chips, burning around 1,287 megawatts of electricity and cost OpenAI about $5 million just for training. And GPT-3 was considered small. Today's models cost 10x, 100x and more. Why does AI feel so perfect? Because LLMs are foundational models, they are all around us. We could create a small AI that only writes lyrics. It will cost less, but it will only know lyrics. But an LLM based foundational model knows not just lyrics, it knows history, science, art, math, geography, everything. So when you ask it to write a story, write lyrics or explain something, it performs like a human expert. That is why every country today is racing to build foundational LLMs. OpenAI, ChatGPT, Google, BERT, Gemini, Meta, Llama, China, DeepSeek, Musk, XAI, Alibaba, Quen, and India is also building its own LLM, Sarvam. And remember, today we don't just have language models, we have music models, we have image models and video models. For example, DALI, WAVE, and SORA. And we also have multimodal AI that combines all this photo, audio, video all together. Yes, weak AIs in the elementary stage itself, they are doing all this. Imagine what will happen when we finally achieve AGI and ASI ultimately. The world will never be same again. Friends, that was our attempt to explain AI and the work behind the AI. Now, what do you think on this? Please let us know your thoughts on the comment section below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and especially, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It is very important for us, especially for a new channel like us. Thank you so much. Let's meet again. Keep looking for better. Namaste.